Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the United UMC mod for Hearts of Iron Fall. I'm your host, Mr. Republic of China Lava. But as you can see on skin, screen, I'm just trying to click through a lot of things here right, real quick. But the Deutsche Reich agrees with further investments. After a short time, the Economy Minister of Deutsche Reich has contacted us with a message that they would be interested in increasing their investments in China. Their focus would mainly be developing natural, local natural resources and the factors associated with it. As they're not the only ones interested, we should consider which nations we should let uh, affect our economy and which we should not. We're doing porcelains too. The merchants and industrials have a mass of credible riches in the period of relative peace. It's not, surely not too much to ask them to make part of what of that wealth available for the government in these desperate times. With the promise of prompt repayment as soon as the situation permits. So, um, I can't, don't honestly don't remember which one I did do um earlier off screen. It's been a couple days since uh I last did this between this episode and the last one. So, um, the UK rejects the opportunity to invest. Crap. And the U Soviet Union said okay. The Allies have completely said no. The Axis has completely said yes. Turkey also agrees too. Does, doesn't Turkey want investment from like America? Oh, sure. U.S. Yeah, I would definitely take the U.S. Um, so that's kind of odd. Of course, we wanted we already reformed the National Bank, which is really nice. Um, anything else here? We got the chemical research slot. Uh, while, we never, while we would never be the first to use chemical weapons, we must still be ready to defend against them in case of an attack. We should find a new research institute to develop the necessary methods and technologies. Lose stability, get more political power. You know what? Sure, why not? All those three, why not? That sounds like fun. You know, the general staff, we could, of course, we have rural schooling, of course. Um, Inter-party coordination, we have to be at peace for this stuff, so... We can't really quite do a lot of this stuff here, which sucks. But, whatever. We've been at war for a while. Um, other than that, I think I read the Chinese Emperor Lang last time, so if you're going to do this again, please go ahead. Uh, let's see, Berlin, Nanjing, Axis? Probably not, since it's supposed to be so historical. Invite foreign manufacturers to Xinjiang Compensation. Huh. I'm not sure if I really want to do this one, given Soviet rights. So right. um, must settle the dispute so we can join the common turn. I think we'll be okay with not doing that stuff. But I do want to do the grain tax, which does hurt us with political power and stability and war support, but it gives us more consumer goods. Pop support will be, will be reduced, though. The government issued notes of less and less purchasing power, so we won't be able to feed our armies anymore. We can institute a new law that peasants must pay their taxes in grain, thus bypassing the markets. They won't like that, but there's a, and there's a danger this uh, could lead to full-blown famine. Or we'll just have small arms development, but in the meantime, uh, we're doing okay. We're definitely holding off the Japanese right now. Uh, light tanks, I guess, if you really want to make light tanks, that's fine. Um, uh, the north is, they've bulged out a little bit, but that's causing us to lose a lot of guns. It's also causing them to lose a lot of guns. And we've actually been able to strike out a little bit here, too. So, their line is definitely thinning, which is very, very good. So we got to get all the way to Mongolia to help stop them there, up there, so. Um, other than that, we got quite a few comms to go through as well. Should be great. And, let's see, four investments. I'm going to join the Axis. Zero investments, Z did zero influence to other people. Three investments. Use foreign co construction capacity. Ooh. So we'll see if anyone invests in us. I hope they do. We're a worthwhile nation to be invested into, at least in my opinion. Hey, we got that tile, nice. I would like to take at least this tile, so this way we can take a little bit of their supply away, so. And then strike north if we possibly can up here. So we get to go all these divisions over here and then kill them all off that way. So, at least that's my hope. Will it happen? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Can we at least do that? Yes, we can, which is good. Get up there as fast as we possibly can. Um, the great or grand. War propaganda, we don't really need that. War bonds, not bad. We're going to say Interparty Coordination Council. I don't really want to do that one. So, don't really see the point of it. <coughs> Let's see over here. Honestly, as much as I want to do any of this stuff, this one's fine enough. Machine tools. Nice. Japanese are still landing, not good. You're gonna force the attack. And you are going to win. Force loans. Um, let's take a look here. Let's see. Great popular support. Moderate inflation. So corruption, which I don't know how to get rid of corruption at this point. If we have a desperate situation, we could do that too. 
Ah, I'll do it anyways because we can. Highways. I get a railway. Some stability. Forced loans. That wouldn't be too bad to do, actually. Um, we're still getting porting stuff from the checks. It's nice, don't get me wrong. Infantry equipment, light tanks, spiders, that wouldn't be bad. Let's save our political power for now. And, oh, we can't do this one. Oh, we're going to pull control of Nanjing. Small arms development? Sure, why not? Hey, they send their boys here to die, so. Uh, hello? Are you just sitting in the water? Ah, you just. Okay. Media manipulation. Leader cost. Free repair? Sure, why not? There you go. Can you guys actually win here? If you could, that'd be great. Yeah, we definitely need to pump up these divisions a little bit more. They're not that great, but we'll still use them. Artillery is good. Guns are good. We're probably really out of our lot of artillery. That's okay. Hey, we actually got it. Nice. You guys immediately go this way now. Take their supply away. And give us their supply, basically. Nice. Are we losing here? Oh, no. Well, yes, but no. So now... That should help out just a little bit, right? Basic Slovakia, it is 1939. It's June, wait, which is kind of late already, but whatever. Um, we suffer from supply issues down here or something? What's going on? Yeah, it's sort of are. It sucks. Grain tax, dare to die core. Popular support. Mining commission. <coughs> Resources are critical for the war effort. We must take charge of the mining industry to ensure that it produces what we need. Yeah. We'll have a lot of inflation, but we can counter that with the forced loans, so. Or somebody would be nice, though. Oh, we're great? Oh. Pop support will be improved. Um, we'll probably go this one. 150. Let's go up here first. Uh, we are after this. Not great. Not bad, but not great. Oh, under the cab division. Nice. Um, at this point, we might want to start thinking about encirclements, maybe? Couple comments. Someone says, after this campaign, you can play as Manchuria in the road to 56. Manchuria has a tree that allows Manchuria to become a local Chinese warlord. It's a, but you have to make sure Japan sinks into a civil war of either democracy and a communist faction. So, Someone says, the UMC United UMC mod is a great mod. I'm glad you played this. Yeah, I like this mod a lot, too. It's a lot of fun. Um, tactical bombers. Honestly, I just want cast at this point. Probably just, just, just use cast. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah. There you go, nice. Good stuff. Good. Nice. And. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. You almost got him. Immediately just go on in. It's not much, but it's still honest to God divisions I need to die. I get to make it like a straight line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty darn risky. I don't think we'll actually be able to make it, but let's keep making. Let's make another encirclement first. Something like that. Encryption's nice, good. Uh, get some more engineers just in case. Three, two, one, let's go. There you go. Let's do this again. Send in the other guys. Another horse, nice. Ganon New Deal. And, <coughs> excuse me, 1939. Cheng Ching Kuo was appointed as commissioner of Ganon Prefecture. We immediately proceeded with his successors as specialists in Jing Ji. He banned smoking, gambling, prostitution, city governmental management, allowed for economic expansion and changing social outlook. 
Through this, he achieved social and economic stability and raised people's support for Kuomintang. As soon as his primary goals were achieved, he focused on strengthening education and culture, utilizing his knowledge to gain in the Soviet Union. That is to be achieved by increasing the number of national junior high schools and emphasizing policies to eliminate illiterate people. Newspapers and other media will also be expanded. The keystones of this first three uh, year uh, South South plans to remove feudalism that nest in society, enhance nationalism, and improve production, skills, and carrying out national education based on Sun Yat Sen's three principles. Its efforts are being hailed as a miracle in the political war in China, coined as a new Ghana New Deal, but it's also criticized by some members of Kuomintang for use of almost communist methods, saying that Chiang Ching Kuo is a real communist and South China is already red. It's a bright red dawn in China. Alright, but what about prostitutes? Following the ban of prostitution in Ghana Prefecture, Chiang Ching Kuo implemented a policy where former prostitutes became employed in factories. While well, first accepted it with a dose of skepticism, there's no doubt that it has positive effects on the whole of Ghanan. Ghanan is an example. Oh. Okay, so we can still do this if we really want to. I would like to improve the army situation as well, but I want to do some force loans first. We definitely need to. Oh man, we are struggling here. MML. Can't quite break through here. Let me take the supply line away. Over here. If we took this tile, that'd be pretty bad too. Alright. 39, of course. Motorized. Don't really have very much motorized, do we? Armor trains. I guess we can if we really wanted to. Nice. We're just making a segment here too. Bing bong boom. <laughs> yeah, I'll take some trucks. We love trucks. So what do you guys do with them? Mining commission. Just an arsenal. That's not bad. I get more artillery. Since of anti Japanese cushion. A step to the War of Attrition. Industrial Evacuations. War of Anti-Imperialism. That's not bad. Actually, that's pretty good. Well, let's do that one right now. Because we can. Send the Communists that way. Factory output. Uh, this is not great. I never choose this one because it just doesn't, doesn't seem really that great for us to do. You can help them out too if you want. Good. It's going to hopefully really affect the supply lines. That is not good though. <laughs> when you completely ban in your post. One, there we go. No, you don't want to go there. You want to go right there. That's what you want to do. Come on, multi ribbon drop packed. Force loans, yes. <clears throat> Very nice. Immediately begin killing these divisions off. Nice, there you go. So now that definitely helps us out. Supply wise, these guys are not suffering any issues because they still have supply up there, which sucks. So, hmm. Support three plans over, huh? For us up here, we have no supply. Plus, this base is up here. This is the whole thing. So we gotta go up to there. So we're gonna be going wee like that. Now we'll go up to there and then take come back down here. Just go ahead and reduce mass things we need here, which is fine. Um sure why not? Well then I attack is good. And what's next? Cancel the lease. Um uh, more stability would be nice. Yeah. Give us some more stability. Ease state laws. No, we are okay. Force conscription. The god of war. Ooh. Industrial evacuations? Why not? Oh, crap. Not this again. No, you're not allowed to give up. Go, horse boys, go! So you guys are already down there, which is really good. Help them out, and go into. Actually, you both come back here. Just do not lose Ningbo. 
And there goes World War II in uh, October. Oh, huh. right there. Conversion speed. Uh, grab some of that too. That'd be good. Sure, evacuations. You gotta go back in. No matter what happens, horses that we're using right now looks like, right? Because these are G boys. Sure. We can even talk for now. And we're back to imperialism. Yes. KMT corruption. God dang it. Are you kidding me? Bro. Alright, at this point, you're going to kill this guy off no matter what happens. Maybe start pushing here too. Trenchman specialist. Ooh. We'll plan attack. Infiltration assault. Go to that one. Ooh. We barely got him. Oh, there goes Poland. Very fast. Need more trucks. You guys are great. Um, but we really are going to need you up here. For this. Could you guys actually just do a general attack yourselves? Well. Let's try this first. War bonds gonna hurt our war support quite a bit. Oh. Ooh. We're gonna get a lot of roads. What else we got around here? Kind of negative effects. Uh, weekly change plus 0.5 is pretty good. That's actually very good. Let's fix some railways. Yeah, why not? Can you actually push hard? Well, try it. Mm, might be a bad idea. War of anti imperialism was good, though. God of War. So, a Hu, Yu Yu, was a nationalist veteran of both Central Plains War and the First Chinese Civil War. His military skill earned him the nickname Patent of Asia by the Americans and God of War by the Chinese. Chiang Kai shek is often hailed him as a true example of a Chinese officer. Nice. He's no so been wounded, not good. Fuel no storage. Plan attack, nutrition assault for now, it's fine. Do we have someone who's on the offense already? Which nutrition infantry. There we go. Just someone who's on the offense, maybe. Alright, so this is not gonna go great. So you want you to hold. I want you all to hold as well. It didn't go bad, it's just not great. 39. Oh, what is this? Anti-air buildings. Interesting. Uh, anything else for specialized stuff? It's a little bit ahead of time. Soft attack. I'll grab some of that. I like that idea. Yeah, definitely fight for this one. This one's fine to fight for. Until we're getting naval invaded, of course. I think we actually might be able to repel that one. One, one division? Okay. Let's get that goddamn bridge. <clears throat> nice. That's all I wanted the bridge. And Ji Fang is going to have to be next. Immediately move there if you can. Just get it right here. God of War. Mass production. Uh, reliability goes down by 10%. That sucks. Cost goes down. Eh, is that worth it? You get more factory output though. Yeah, why not? Do what China does best. Mass produce stuff. Heavy tanks, nice. I don't understand how these guys still get so much supply through here, though. It boggles the mind. Um, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna keep expanding this way. Heck, we might just go to that Kalman Glucoil first. Uh, 1940, happy 1940, everybody. Got more research speed. 
I grab some more coordination, yeah. Light tanks are very fun to use. Panzer shifts, eh, whatever. Actually, maybe, maybe, might be making this one right here too. <coughs> um, push them out this way. Oh, as they're pushing us out too. Nice. Send them to the factories. Better consumer goods, yeah, population wise. Oh, get some more compliance first. Go that direction. It's fine. Ah, oh, the Sanmin Zuyi Corp Youth Corps forms. The paramilitary Sanmin Zuyi Youth Corps was recently formed on behalf of Qing Kuo, who maintained control and order in the Ganden Prefecture. Composed by young cadets trained by Wang Sheng, close friend of Qing Kuo, they now possess or pose another small margin of power in Shangxi, which is a force to be reckoned with. So, I'll obscure control. Nice. Do not let up, or do not give them any time to do anything like that. Uh, go and keep. I thought I told you to just be added to them. Oh, huh. where they got him back? Okay. More force loans, probably. Oh, we need that moderate inflation for that. All right. Well, scorched earth tactics. Yeah, new. Okay. For now. Do the grain tax. Uh, you know what? Wait. I, I do definitely want to circle these guys here if we can. How's it dropping? Ah, they've reached priority, that's why. So then hold. Let's get over here, too. More organization? Yes, please. Yes. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'll let one go right there, and you four go right there, see what you can do. We've lost half a million, they lost over a million. Come on, just take the goddamn tile. Oh crap, Southern China. Good. Rolling on pretty decently though. Sniper teams. Gives us some recon immediately. Nice. And then rejects these demands. That's good. Come on, you should be able to get this by now. I don't know what they're doing to these guys, but I don't know why they're so tough. If anything, this is a very weak faction. Five percent? Are you kidding me? You're not going anywhere, hubbub. If I can only own circle two divisions, so be it. Better call That sucks. Uh, Forges bonds with Empire of Japan. <coughs> Bad news was delivered by the German diplomat today. We informed the leader about the new diplomatic efforts made by the Deutsches Reich to establish friendly relations with the Empire of Japan. For years, the Germans have been investing money, equipment, and army training to our nation to strengthen us. In return, we provided the Germans with training grounds and army experience. We fully expected the Germans to continue this cooperation in the future and relied on them for future military strength. But, it seems, however, we were wrong. When the Germans are now friendly with them, now friendly with the Japanese, it seems to only be a matter of time until a formal alliance is concluded. At that point, we'll have to know when to rely upon it by ourselves. It seems that we should look into standing on our own for now. We should have never trusted the Germans. Look at this one, too. In 1934, the Handel Industrial. Industrial Producta, or Hapra, was created to unify all German, German interests in China. From that day, it was a center of all economic cooperation between our two countries, and most probably the most, pro most modern industry we possess in the country. With the success of the 3D plan, we can find utilize its full potential. Well, as long as we're okay with it. Huh. Invite foreign manufacturers, of course. Um, what else we got around here? <clears throat> Rejuvenate heavy industry. Oh. We gotta keep working on that stuff. Chinese Hindenburg Line, of course. Protect against bombing raids. Uh, the Taoyuan Arsenal. The Italian Arsenal is one of the few places in China where we can produce heavy weapons. We should expand supply troops with artillery and other weapons. End of this entry of humiliation. Also known as Bainan Guo Qi. 
also known by a permutation such as a hundred years of national humiliation as a period of intervention, and imperialism by Western powers in Japan and China since 1839. The term arose in 1915, and the atmosphere of rising Chinese nationalism opposing the 21 demands made by the Japanese government. Now, the comment from the last one says, I play, uh, he played this mod while playing Japan to declare war in China, and then someone Germany got involved. Huh. Someone says, I can't believe you're doing well with, like, no trucks. Yeah. Um, someone says, the Imperial timeline is back in the eight years of resistance. Someone says, do you think about playing the second Sengoku mod for Hearts of Fire 4? Yes, I'll get to it. Just give me some time. Someone says, uh, actually quite a people said uh, I screwed up the description, which is completely true. Um, the description has been changed now, but at the time it's recording, but I screwed up the description. But yeah, pretty good overall. And here we are at everybody. They've invaded Qingdown way high, and we're not doing well down there. But we have been pushing on all the, all the fronts, kind of, sort of like an, as if it's like revenge, come up here. Um... We're going to eliminate quite a few divisions over here, which will free up more divisions. These guys are almost completely encircled and surrounded as well, which is very good as well. So, yeah, overall, it's not going great for gun wise, for us gun wise, just because we're out of guns now. Uh, we're gonna probably lower these by two as well, cause we're like out 12, 10,000 guns. We're ending the century of humiliation. Um, I'm not sure there's any focuses that we need to do now, uh, that we won't be able to do later once we're at peace. But you know, whatever. Asian tiger. Oh, well, whatever. Um, Re Refugee Relief Agency. Without people of war, <clears throat> no one's been made homeless. We will create an agency to assist them in finding a new place to stay. Sure, why not? Kill these guys off as fast as you possibly can. These guys have been circled as well, which is good. More horses, which is good as well. Uh, let's put that more extraction because we can. Go ahead, go in. Oh, did they leave? Excuse me? Okay, well, that's alright. We're trying to get Dali on as well, so. But yeah, overall, not bad. Really not bad. The fall of Paris. Over here, we're still doing this. War bonds would not be bad. You know what? Screw it. Do war bonds now, anyways. We definitely need more millions and cities, so you, uh, you're you almost done. Go up and out. Why not? They're literally almost done. There you go. Keep making more cities for now, too. Overall, not bad. Casualties, we've lost about a million. Roughly a million. You know, with China. Doesn't really matter. Uh, 1.3 million. They've lost. Oh, like, 13 divisions, which is actually very good for us. And they're doing force defense, which is very good, just to help kill all all enemy contacts. So, over here, not really anything I really want to do. We can do expert delegator. He is level 6, which is nice. Miguko is go gone, which is awesome. Um, yeah, overall, not bad. Pretty darn good, I'd say. Still more railways and whatnot. We can do more force loans. Are we on high inflation? We are heavy on, on inflation right now. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, okay, so they're over there doing that. Well, Germany's doing well. <clears throat> I us enjoy the axis, which is fine, whatever. Um, over here, I keep spending more army XP for this, which I do want to get the land auction done as fast as possible. But there's just so much we... I just want to get, like... And this, this is not bad. Actually, that's really good to do. I want to get this one done, too. Improve army situation. At least deal once. At least once. New life movement. More political power. The four virtues of morality, honesty, justice, and loyalty will enhance the guide nation or citizens to a better, more productive life. Sure, why not? Sure, guys, why not? That is 11 divisions trapped. Oh, crap. Oh, also, we did lose our fleet because, uh, well, yeah, reasons. You guys did a great job. Well, the more divisions they send down here, the less divisions they have overall, which is good for us, you know, don't get me wrong. Uh, you're going to hold the attack. You're going to stop. And you're going to immediately begin pounding them. <laughs> Not bad, we're already in Korea. It's very, 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 very good. Do not give him an inch. Oh, come on. I said don't give him an inch. And give him an inch. Yeah, they're going to die there anyways. Because, oh, we split these guys up too. And they have no port over here. So any Japanese soldiers trapped here will not have anything left. Actually, how many soldiers do they have left? 35. Oh, come on. I hope, I hope there's a way we can deal with corruption later on. New life movement. Uh, employ, accept and employ for emigres. Sure. 
Oh, did you guys actually get him? Oh. Alright. Not bad. Four and four. Four Sloans, yeah. I'll do that one next. Nice. I'll probably try to enabling base. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad I looked down here. Because we don't have time. Just send these to the north. I did increase these guys' divisions to 18 combo with, though. They were like 14 earlier, so it wasn't very good. We're in clothing. In 1940. Get more gun stuff, too. Probably maybe get some actual, like, motor more motorized and whatnot. How much more strength does Menchuko have? Never mind. Huh. <laughs> Never mind. Someone declared war in France. <clears throat> Hop in. Ah, we lost army XP that way. Dang it. Well, oh well. Well, there are 20 divisions left. We've done it, my friends. We've done it. Can we do it again? That's actually improving, which is really nice. Because we were, like, obsolete earlier. Does that have total mobilization? Sure. Alright. Sounds good to me. And... Integrate subjugated territories? Yes. Not bad, my friends. Holy crap. Looking pretty good now. Better fighters, too? <clears throat> we need some fuel, too, probably. We have a long time. They open up uh, to peace negotiations. We pushed Japanese out of the mainland soon after we fortified our positions into that single Jap lay foot on land again. Even though we lacked sufficient Navy or Air Force to proceed with an attack on the Japanese home miles, holding our ground and seeing nothing less than as a total victory of our army. The view of the Japanese population on the situation, however, is less pleasant. The clocks are ticking, they have always viewed us as a lesser nation, now the Supreme Military can't find a sufficient way to match ours. With this in mind, we're contacted by the Japanese ambassadors to discuss the pe terms of peace, and we will not let them get out of this easily. <clears throat> must leave the mainland and provide us with reparations for any harm done. Not only must pay, but also handle what they what handle us what makes them strong. Handle us or hand us? Oh, they give us stuff. We'll be marching on Japanese tomorrow soon. Um, let's save, just in case. I want the middle option. <coughs> you give us stuff in the end, which I don't think they have anything left, but I could be a bit wrong. Yeah. Um, for them, transfers up to two carriers, four battleships. Defeating China. That's going to really hurt them, which, I mean, obviously it should. Um... They surrender it. Oh my goodness. Nice. Japanese repar We get Japanese reparations? Bro. Bro. Do we get Korea at least? <sighs> Communist China got all of God now. No, that's unfair. Why did they get all this stuff? That makes no sense. I don't trust the Chi Communist Chinese as no one should. So you guys do that. You guys are just going to hold the line here as best you can. Or just let it fall. And instead, we can just like cut everyone else off from the north here. I don't trust the communists. The communists, no one should. <clears throat> Beautiful, my friends. We actually won. Cancel on these. Claim Manchuria. Oh. Yes, legislative one is next. The ability of the people to elect a body and make the laws that govern them sits so at the heart of the modern republic. The nation must, uh, must not be found wanting. Yeah. Beautiful. Weekly change. E-state laws. Foreign investments in... Oh, hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so interesting. We won't be able to select the use foreign construction capacity. Bonus for industry. Well, you get three civvies. Oh, no, a civvy military factory. Oh, that's that one. Screw that. Um, before we click on anything else, propaganda efforts, is there anything else we really want here? Lessons of war, army reform, communist China will die. I can promise you that one. I'm not sure. Rudok KMT corruption. Well, go to Generalissimo. Oh, go all the way down here, maybe? Root out. Ah, it's over this side. Okay. So we gotta kill China first. Communist China, I should say. Foreign influences. Yeah, our foreign influence in other countries. Yeah, how about this stuff up here? Reduce the influence of Italian investors. Reduce stability, you lose a bit of power. Reduce the influence of foreign investors. Resource extraction. 
one, two, three, twenty-four production of steel and whatnot. Processing technology. Oh, you get synthetic refineries and stuff like that. Well, I mean, in all honesty, we're looking pretty good here <clears throat> already. Bonuses. We can always build that stuff. So do that one. And start working on this one too. <coughs> Excuse me. So, does the Civil War start again? I'd like to integrate our, our guys too, don't get me wrong. Mac Force Conscription. Japan is in Civil War. Chai Core Stabilized Korean Peninsula. We could try that one too. Legislative One, of course. Um, these guys did great. Just for peace for now, of course. Oh my god. Oh, we did get it. Oh my god. Oh, good god. This is going to be god awful to do. Um, so if I do this part off screen and just see what happens next. So we do this one Republicanism, of course. Um, and in the West, wonder if we are sincere about becoming a republic after the Western model. We should make a public declaration about our intentions and rejuvenate heavy industry. If we ever stand as equals to the Western nations, we must build new heavy industrial complexes with the use of the most modern technology we can find. That way, our industry will be capable of developing and producing modern planes and tanks. Judicial yawn. Dr. Sun Yat-sen envisioned a modern republic with a separation of powers. Our judiciary needs to be independent of outside influence and decides decide cases based on the law and the law alone. Control yawn. Um, corruption is inevitable in any government. Effective government requires an effort to keep it in check. We'll create a separate branch of government, equal to the legislature, executive, and judiciary branches. An examination yawn. Uh, for thousands of years, Chinese bureaucrats were selected in stringent examinations. While the necessary tax may have changed, the principle remains, of course, the same. Well, everyone, a new war, but a different thing. So I kicked Communist China out of our faction, and they immediately joined the Comintern. Immediately. But we did the Hanyang Steelwork, and we're expanding the ROCAF. Um... We're trying to reduce inflation too, so we can't really do too much at the moment. I guess we can buy foreign manufacturers if we really wanted to. So we've got a war with them. Um, so we'll see what happens. And yeah. Uh, I hope we do okay. Um, I'm go on two, why not? Uh, we're doing okay here ish. But yeah, we're fighting the Tyrant Comintern by ourselves now. Uh, which is not great. Germany's not even gotten to war with them yet. But they do have Lithuania too, which is actually really nice. Hopefully they'll do the uh, other packs. You know what? I'm gonna say yes to you. Yunnan, yes. Stays in Kyung, no. Because I don't want to open that front up. I don't want to kill off Kami's China first. That's my goal. Kill off the Kami's, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do. Ooh, just yes, 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 yes. A thousand times yes for logistics. Because actually, Kami's trying to get like 48 militia divisions, uh, but those militia divisions are literally only like three battalions in each. Division, so it's actually really good for us. So, uh, we'll see what we can do. But yeah, so far not bad. Um, they went to war with us, so there's that. Sure, guys, yeah, we could use more stuff. Trucks, we're always out of trucks for some reason. So, uh, here, don't, don't give them peace, don't give them any time to rest. So, as long as we kill off these guys first, I'm okay with that. And it's gonna make it really easy for the Germans to win. <laughs> Pro hopefully, in Barbarossa, probably, hopefully. That's a lot of divisions down here. That's a lot of trapped Soviet divisions. Now Mongolia, we're with Mongolia too, but still. That's a lot of divisions that we have to fight. But we're also trying to integrate the other armies and whatnot. Um, uh, where are we at for this stuff? Oh, we're on good. That's not good. What is this one? Domestic general staff, which is okay. It's just pretty generic, unfortunately. So far, there's a lot of green. And I'm getting more army XP too. So I can't really complain too much. I mean, I can, and I probably will, but overall, not bad. If anything, I doubt you could win here. But it's better to actually attack here if possible, since you can, might be able to circle all these guys. That's a lot of Soviet divisions. Actually, let's take a look see for the Soviets. It's God dang pieces of garbage. Um, how are their divisions like? Because if you can encircle and kill them off before. The Germans go to war with them. That'd be very good. So they lost. They have temp minus 10% division organization. Calvary for them is a little stronger. Other than that, they don't really anything else that makes them unique. Soft attack now? Heck, heck yeah. Uh, oh, still can't even do this now because we're out of peace. That's so stupid. Uh, let's see. Fi local fire initiatives? Sure. Look at all these divisions we've encircled. 20 up, up here. And then... 32, 33, 36, 36, 
56 divisions encircled down here. All because they wanted to get involved in China. Good job, guys. Or something. Source industry, keep getting more extraction stuff. That'd be good. Yeah, that's pretty bad. No. That keeps them at bay, and they can't do anything about that, and supply really sucks, and I don't want to send our guys over there yet, so. Guerrilla fighter, oh. That's actually, that's all, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'll put that one. Yeah, America. Thanks, FDR. Thanks, Mr. Wheelchair Man. I appreciate it. We lost 47,000. We killed off a lot of manpower already. Of course, it's the Soviet Union manpower, so it doesn't really matter too much, but still. More movement speed? That's not bad. Uh, I'll probably choose more movement speed, in all honesty. And let's go with information as well. Radio propaganda is not bad. Ah, uh, since we're here to do that one anyways. Yeah, it's of course 1941. Um, better artillery? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We just caused so many casualties. I love it. Level 6. Jesus Christ. Infantry specialist? Do we have it? We already have one, right? Yeah. Well planned text. Okay, blitz. Ah, you know, choose blitz for now, too. You guys are over here, so it is going. It's going really well, actually. Anything else? Counter effects of war economy? Um, it's still going up. Plus 0.3, plus 0.1. Improve the army situation again? This would be very costly to do. We're excellent as well. War bonds would not be bad. Uh, we're going to reduce the influence of foreign investors from here on out, probably, so. Oh. Communist China's gone. Beautiful. I want to see what, what's after this one, too. Oh, that is devastating. That is so good. Heavy inflation. Um, let's pursue a blue water navy next. I can't even do any of this stuff. Yeah, uh, sucks. Can we integrate, like, oh, integrate the Guangxi administration? Yeah. That's why I'm gonna say it. That's why I'm, I'm glad I saved it. You guys spread out further. It's better. Let you guys do whatever you want. Sin Kyung, we'll get. Relax, Sin Kyung. Relax. You'll get there. <clears throat> it's already June. We've already killed off a huge amount of divisions. Yeah, the, the German Reich is gonna have such an easy time this time. But they're not gonna war yet. It's already June, like I said, so. Hey, we'll see. So jet technology, that'd be cool. Honestly, you only need one more. That's it. The Soviets made such a huge mistake, it's not even funny. They thought communist China would be strong. And my god, they were mistaken. Because yeah, for this one... You gotta get rid of communist China for us to even remove army corruption. Lessons of war? I mean, this is gonna take forever to do. Uh, so, no, they're dead. They're literally dead now. Sure, guys, for now it's fine. Uh, 41, go and grab this one too. I uh, got construction speed, actually. Go and grab what this is. Brazil gains resource ownerships in Liaotong. As influence in Brazil reached a point where they start controlling parts of our industry, no more in, no more indirectly, but rather have full control over it, the resource excavations of industry in Altonga fall into the hands. This equipment now only works for this purpose of Brazil. Oh, God. Our economic politicians can't do more than silently argue and watch our economy continue to sell to foreigners. Can't do anything about it? Eh, we'll see about that. Mm -hmm. Nationalize our investments? We'll lose stability. Actually, we'll get stability. Am I demand final comp compensation? See, you did negative two. Well, I mean, Soviets doesn't matter. You know, let's go. We'll just nationalize everything. They won't go to war. That's just fine. We'll just nationalize it. <clears throat> because at some point, no one can. They're not going to be able to beat us. I mean, the Soviet Union has made such a colossal mistake in this in this timeline. It's not very historical with us beating communist China and going to war with the Soviet Union, but whatever. Yeah.
You know what? Open up the front even more. Let them come in. At this point, you might as well. We'll separate these guys in the half. They already took Kiev. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Keep making more cities though, because obviously we don't have enough industry. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll nationalize a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, why are we great? What do you mean? They're the ones who declared war on us. They want they wanted to kill off China. That's BS. Indirect actions, can't do anything there. Hungry, now we're good for now. This is great, I love it. Excavation, nice, good. Nope, nope. And we can, can we do anything else after that one? Um, more propaganda. We really wanted it. Don't really need it. Some dude's been wounded, so be it. Yeah, the Germans are just pushing hard through the Soviet Union. As they, as they should. I mean, it just makes sense at this point. There's no point to do that one since we got more tanks coming along anyways. Um, what do we want next? 41. Maybe some ships. Maybe we'll make a navy. We'll see. Thirty one divisions. They're out of manpower. Wow. Um, yeah. Pursue a blue water navy. Nice. Hyperinflation. Definitely don't want hyperinflation. Uh, Leoning and program. Leoning will be our first domestically built aircraft carrier. To achieve that, we must acquire some older carrier from the Western nations who utilize the technology. Upon that, we'll build our own. Well, we do have a small little navy. We should get some carrier planes too, because we do have carriers. Nice. Very good. Very, 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 very good. God, they're moving so fast. If I was them, I'd be moving even faster. What are the Allies going to do? Japan even, like, they the Democratic side won, but because they still have, what, this, Imperial Rule Association, they're fascists pretty much now. Thanks for your Navy, too. I really appreciate it. Can't really use it too much. Actually, we can use it right now. We do have a couple capital ships and whatnot, so. Not bad. All right. Let's see, so I need 200 here. <clears throat> Excuse me, which sucks, but whatever. Olambatar. Sure, guys, we can use more trucks. They're actually pushing out. Jesus. Nice, keep making more cities. Fall of Sevastopol. Beautiful. I would like more war bonds. Oh, full integration. There you go, nice. Very good. Very good. Do we find anything here yet? No? Protecting our own coast. Good. Uh, sure. Sure. More rifles out. Almost bad at infantry. That sucks. That really sucks, but whatever. It's fine. So now we have 111, or 110, I guess. Um, could use more stuff here. More planes, actually. Huh. Alright. Nice. Good stuff. They proclaim we are hungry. Does that mean anything? No, not at all. They just proclaimed it. That's it. Um, okay. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Carry aircraft models? Yeah, why not? Construction? Which is good. I did say we can get some more planes and whatnot, so we'll start focusing a little more planes, a more on ships. Stuff like that. We'll almost improve the army situation. Can we actually capitulate the Soviet Union in this episode? We might be able to, actually. Because with these guys, they've already, they're have already they getting close to Stalingrad. They're not quite to Moscow yet, and they're approaching Leningrad as well. And they only have up to 110 divisions max. And Mongolia is almost dead. So, we might just be able to do that in this episode. Which is something I was not planning on us doing at all in this episode. Or, so we should sooner in this autonomy. Oh, wait, how do we get this? Oh, nice. Um, in the meantime, how about we just go and build some roads here? There you go. I'll blow their autonomy a little bit. Not bad. Are you guys hanging in there? Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, fighting in the east sucks. It really sucks. And we must be out of guns, too.
Oh boy. Well, October. Stalingrad is almost a frontline city. Leningrad is a frontline city. The Americans say, hey, give us some. We would like to give you some. We, oh my gosh, that's a lot of convoys. We don't have enough convoys for that, even though we have like one and a half max production. Yes. So that would do what? We're in a poor military situation, which is not good. But then go lacking. Basically, be nice. Um, well, I don't know over here. Western like bomber squadrons? Sure. Why not? Sounds like a good idea. How are we only on great? I don't understand. Foreign technology? Eh. Censorship. Yay! Officer schools, why not? What else? Western. Foreign influence, decisions, actions, force zones, yeah. We have to keep that one open. We definitely need that. How close are they to capitulating? Only halfway, but that's alright. It's alright. We'll get rid of them eventually. We might have to fight the entire uh, ooh, army field capacity, nice. Uh, allies, but we'll tell them no. We've done 36%. The German Reich has done 50%. Ooh, they're about to cut off the caucuses. Moscow's fallen. Nice. Very nice. Stalingrad. It's not good for you guys. Stalingrad is now a frontline city. Ooh, boy. Sure, take some stuff here, too. Only 50%. Oh, that's my, it was gone. Leningrad. Oh, they're getting close. Oh, Stalingrad's fallen, too. Nice. Western like bomb squadrons. Cruiser effort. Yeah, why not? Sure. Sounds like fun. We're just gonna need way more guns too. Hmm. Only at sixteen thousand. That's all. Prove medium tanks. Who else? Almost nineteen forty-two. So let's grab some of this too. Medium tanks. What's the next medium tank we can get? 43, give it another year, then we'll actually maybe make some. That's big and beautiful. We've lost 200,000, which is basically nothing. Versus 1.6 million. The Germans are done quite a good job. But they gotta get Leningrad next. Come on. Just cut them off. Cut them off. How many divisions have we got less, less, less than 100? This is really good for army XP, even though we have like no divisions. Oh, we integrated them! Nice! Good, good, good! Oh, wow, look at all those factories. You know what? Screw it. Um, you guys come over here. You guys can do that for now. There you go. Thank you! Now we should be good on guns, right? Yeah, we're good on guns now. You more arty. Drug's not bad, too. Holy crap, this guy's learned a lot. I'm, as much as I want to do cavalry leader, I might go combine arms eventually. Max entrenchment is not bad. Uh, I want to wait. I might just convert them eventually to other things. Down here. Yeah, that's well. Beautiful. Got to integrate more guys too. Hey, Mongolia's finally gone. Jesus Christ, that took forever. Uh, you guys, looking good. Guangxi's gone. We got all them resources too. Well, we need some more here. Sweden. Steel. Government cipher schools. Leningrad's well, frontline city. Escort cruiser effort. Guangzhou Naval Academy. Yes. Cancel on lease. Ooh, they finally cut off the caucuses from everyone else. Which is good, good, good. Government lobby. Are we losing stuff here? Weekly change plus point one. Not bad. How are we on two? Who's only our popular support? I'm going to nationalize Brazilian investments, maybe. Unless Brazil's in the Allies. If they're in the Allies. Hmm. Crap, I knew that would happen eventually. Carrier fighters. Yeah, I'll come grab some of those. No, they're by themselves. America's not even in the Allies yet. It's 1942, though. Huh. Whatever. Oh, we can't get them yet. Dang it. Sucks. Nope. We'll probably take out the uh, Germans, too. 
Ball land grab, nice. So, what's gonna happen now? How do they have this much towards capitulation? If they lose a big three, Vladivostok, I mean, that's usually, not always, usually the end of uh, those guys right there. Not always, of course, but usually the end, so. Um, I think I'll do a little bit more of this off screen, so we'll see what happens. Not really much we can do. Reintegrate Northern China? No longer Manchuria, but Northern China. From now on, that's the name by which those territories will be known. We'll fully integrate the Manchu people under the KMT leadership and remove even the slightest connections with Qing rule. Oh, that'd be so good. Um, Anshan Steel Mill, the Arc Steel, 60 Divisions Plan. Instead of relying on mass bodies to solve the problem, our foreign advisors propose a radically new plan. A smaller force of highly trained divisions to match the enemy. A pilot project has already been started. Hopefully, we can do this one too. The Asian Tiger. Our economy is among the best in the world. We even call us the Asian Tiger. We can use this to our advantage. Increase the trade with other countries, thus improving our economy even further. Sinkiang Compensation? Probably not. Um, Knife Force Conscription? Probably not either. Jingnan Shipyards. Well, when we're at peace, of course, we'll do all this stuff again. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. We'll probably end up going to war with the Germans, maybe. Or someone else. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.